Today, I'm going to show you a powerful way to leverage DeepSeek version 3's API along with Climb, which is a very powerful way to build tools, websites, and apps for free. And you can get the new version of it. So they've actually updated this to 3.1 version, as you can see right here, which comes along with DeepSeek. So you can actually set the API provider as DeepSeek version 3, which is very powerful and brand new AI update that's just come out over the last couple of weeks. So let's get straight into it. Now, if you want to get this installed, first place you're going to start is make sure that you have Visual Studio downloaded. That is completely free and you can download it for free to your laptop. That's another benefit of this is that you can actually get it for free locally on your laptop. And once you've done that, you can just navigate over to Visual Studio Code, which you'll see, and it looks something like this. Now, once you've set that up, what you're going to see over here is that you can install an extension. Okay, so if you go on the left hand side and then you go to the menu and type in client, you can install client right here. Now they've other, they've actually got some other forks of client, which I'll come on to in a second. They're really interesting as well, but we'll stick with this for now. And we're going to click install. So you can see we can install client, which was previously called Claude Dev. And this is basically an autonomous coding agent that you can use to build new projects, apps, tools, websites. It's absolutely amazing what you can do. The results have shocked me and I'll show you exactly how to use this in a second. So once this is installed, you're then going to scroll down and you will see a new icon, which is Client down here. Inside Client, you can select between all these different APIs. For example, if you want completely free access, if you don't want to pay a single penny to use any of this, then you can select Google Gemini, go to Google AI Studio and get a free API and just plug that bad boy in right there. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you the new API from DeepSeek which is extremely cheap. It's absolutely redonkulous, if you ask me. And if we go over to deepseek.com, then we're gonna to go to Access API, and you can see I've been rinsing this since the 1st of January, these APIs, and I've only spent $0.01, aka one cent. And so this is even basically free. So I'm gonna put client as the name of the API over here. We'll click Create API, then we'll copy that API code, and we'll go straight back to Visual Studio Code. We'll go back to client in the bottom left, and then we can just enter our API key, as you can see, inside the DeepSeek API provider section. We can click Let's Go. Then I'm gonna click Auto Approve to be able to edit and change commands like you can see right here. So it actually has the ability to use a browser as well. So I've selected Auto Approve, which is just gonna make it faster when I go back and forth with Visual Studio. And then for example, if I say build an SEO cost calculate website, We'll hit enter that on that bad boy right there. It's going to use the API request. You can actually scroll down and see it using the API request. And that's written in Markdown. So you can see the hashtags and everything there. And this is using DeepSeek version three, as we talked about. Now on the right hand side, you're going to see the code of the project and in the middle. And now you can actually see the cost of the API. So it is extremely cheap. Like I said, if you want to use Climb for free and you want to use Google Gemini for free, then you just go to Google AI Studio and grab an API key before you start commenting that this isn't free. Trust me, sunshine, this is free. All right, so we're going back now to the API request. So that's building out the code and the task has been completed. Now, what I love about this as well, and this just makes hosting and everything else 10 times easier because you can now preview it really easily. So you can click on run command, like you see right here, I said, client wants to execute this command and it opened up. And then this just automatically opens up in your browser. And you can see the output from this is super nice, right? So this is a website we built literally in one single click. It's absolutely amazing what you can do these days. And you can see here, we've got the SEO cost calculator. We can plug in the keywords. We can plug in the months, the service level. We didn't have to plan any of this. It just did it all itself. And then for example, if we click on calculate, boom, shakalaka, we got it ready to go. Now you might be going, all right, that's really good for you, Julian Goldie. You've created an app in one click. You can build it for free with Gemini and the API key from there plus client, but how do you actually host it? So what you can do from here is if you go to reveal in finder, as you can see, we've got the folder right here. Now we're going to navigate over to Netlify. So netlify.com, that's where you want to go. Click on add a new site. Once you've logged in, import an existing project, try Netlify drops, drag it in there and boom shakalaka. You got the SEO cost calculator ready to go. How easy is that? In the space of two minutes, you can do what an app developer maybe took a week or a month to do last year. And imagine all the back and forth, all the messing around, all the time you would spend trying to recruit someone and figuring out if they're trying to rip you off or not. You can now just go to Visual Studio Code, get a client 3.1, plug in your API key. If you do this with DeepSeek version three, 
it's going to cost you 0 0.00. Okay, so less half a cent is going to cost you. That's pretty much free. But also, if you got if you want to get it completely free, you pay nothing. Then you just go to AI Studio, as I showed you before, grab the Gemini key and plug that in instead. But this is absolutely amazing. Now I'm going to show you some mind blowing prompts that you can use to take this up a notch because this was a very basic website, but we can do far more than that. Let me show you exactly how you can do this because there are so many use cases for this. You can create some apps, a website, a blog, a local SEO site, an affiliate site. You can screenshot a site and create it. You can build tools with it. You can deploy the site and you can host the site pretty easily as I've already shown you. So let's get straight into it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab this prompt right here. As you can see, I'm going to plug this into start a new task. So we're going to open up a new task right here. Then we're going to plug in this prompt that says create an affiliate SEO blog about birds. My name's Julian Goldie. Amazon affiliate ID equals this. Make this SEO website about bird watching. As you can see right here, we're going to say make it a more beautiful design, right? So I'm going to plug that in to this section over here and then we'll hit enter. And you can see there's an option to upload photos. Now you can't do that with DeepSeek version three because it doesn't have vision, but you can do that with other APIs, which I'll come on to in a minute. So we're going to hit enter. So that's going to run the API request and it's building it out nicely. Now, what I like about this vers versus say stuff like cursor is that you don't have to accept anything with the auto approve section inside Klein. You don't have to go back and forth with it. You just tell it what to do. It does it. It writes the files. It runs it in your browser once you click command and you live in the coding dream, my friend. Now, this isn't guaranteed to work every single time, but we can see how efficient this is. And we'll come on to that in a minute. You can also see here, it has problems down here, but it seems to fix them as well. I'll come on to that in a second, but I think basically what Klein is doing is fixing all the problems so that as it goes through, it's just like, you don't have to click fix this problem or you don't have to click anything to actually go back and forth with it. It's much faster. At least you can sit back, make yourself a cup of tea, slap on YouTube on your other display screen, and you live in the dream. Now, also, if you want to see the history whilst that's building out, let me show you exactly how this goes. So if we drag this out, you can see here the AI is figuring out exactly how to build the website and planning out. Then from there is HTML files in place. Here's what we're going to do next. Ty typography, color palette, responsive grid layout, etc. So it's planning it all out. And I haven't clicked go once. It's just doing this all on autopilot. Absolutely amazing. Now it's creating the project files. So for example, it's got the gear recommendation section over here, the style CSS birdphotography.html, etc. And then if we navigate back to our folder where we previously had the SEO cost calculator, we can click on that and you can see now it's replaced the files with the relevant HTML documents. Now, what you can also do is you can change the API key halfway through. So for example, if you navigate to settings, which is this cog icon over here, we can then select, for example, Google Gemini. We'll go to create an API key, create the API key, and then go back to client. There we go. And then you can select between which model you want to use, right? So for example, you've got a choice between Gemini 2.0, Flash Thinking, Experimental, Flash Experimental, etc. These are like the latest models from Gemini. So we're going to hit done. And then you can grab an API key and plug that straight into Google Gemini settings over here. One thing to note is sometimes the API gets a little bit stuck. If that happens, just close Visual Studio, so quit it, then reopen it, and that should fix it. Don't freak out if you get stuck on API request. And then, now if you want to preview it, it's pretty simple. You can just say, let me preview the site. Then it's going to run the command for terminal. And then you can click on the link and you're ready to go. You got your bird photography blog ready to go. Now, what I've also done is switch over to Anthropic and to using Claw 3.5 Sonnet inside the API requests. And what it seems to be able to do when it's using Claude is it can actually action inside the browser. So as she started using the browser, as you can see inside the API requests, verified how it looks took a screenshot inside the chat so we can see it as well, and then closed the browser and got back on with actually coding the project. Pretty wild stuff, honestly, wow. So not only can you go back and forth with the project, not only can you build apps in seconds, but also you can see what the AI is doing from its point of view. So that it analyzes your design and then iterates it and improves it without you having to do anything. It's basically like an agent. So as an example of that, you saw what we previously had, pretty terrible if you ask me. And then if we go back inside the chat now, it took another screenshot, readapted it, coded it, recoded it. And then it was like, nah, that's not good enough. And so it created this and redesigned the website completely. So it's creating like multiple versions of the blog and then being like, how do we improve this? How do we improve that? Pretty amazing stuff. Obviously, if you're using Claude, it's going to be a bit more expensive. But the fact that Klein is free, Visual Studio is free, you can use stuff like Google Gemini, super cheap. And then also if you want like top, top level, 
it still seems like Claw 3.5 Sonic is an absolute beast if you ask me. I've never seen that before where you can just screenshot, preview the website in your browser without you doing anything. Wow, amazing stuff. So let's start building some new stuff out now. If you want to start a new project, just go to open folder. And then from here, you can just create a new folder and then hit open on that. That will open up a new window. Now we can say create a five page website example, create a five page website for Julian Goldie's SEO agency, brand colors equals link to this page from the navigation and build the about me page, homepage, etc. Right now. I'm going to go back to Visual Studio Code. We'll scroll down to Klein. We're going to plug that in. And then what I'm also going to do here is I'm going to grab the About Me page from my website and use that to teach Claude exactly who I am, what I sell, etc. So we're going to take all this information from here and you can use this to personalize whatever project you create inside Klein. Then we're going to hit Enter and that should create something that's much more personalized and unique to us because it's so easy to create a website nowadays. But not many people think about, okay, how can I separate it from everyone else? How can I make it more unique? And that's what we can do with this prompt right here. And whilst we're waiting for that to be done, if you want free access to all the prompts and tons of other SPs, tutorials, etc., with free SEO tools, no code, AI editors, etc., AI agents, feel free to get all of that inside my free SEO course. Link in the comments and description. Comes with 200 chat GPT SEO prompts as well and a community of 3,100 SEOs. So let's wait for this to get built out and we'll see what it now we're going to run the command to see what this looks like. And there we have a beautiful website ready to go. Now, not only have we built out a website in one single click that's completely customized to me, it's also created like the service page, the about me page, the case studies, etc. What I think could work really well is if we go back to client now and we'll say preview, iterate and improve the design of the website until it looks stunning. Right? Because if Claude can now preview the website inside the browser and then continuously iterate that, it's going to make a huge difference in terms of the design. And also we don't need to think, okay, how should this look better or what can we tweak? It should just do all of that for us. And bear in mind, this has only cost us 30 cents so far, right? What's wild about that is, for example, if you were paying a website design agency to do all this for you, you can imagine the amount of time it would take, the stress, the sheer exhaustion. And then also if you asked them to, to recreate it or edit some parts, probably going to cost you a lot more on the bill as well. But the thing is, you know, what's scary is you can now just go straight to client, get that set up and you and you live in the dream. Here's another example. So we say create the best possible Space Invaders game you can. And then if we open this up, here's what it looks like. We'll press enter, get it started. And then we can just dodge the bullets from there. As you can see, Space Invaders ready to go. Someone actually asked me, why don't I create Fortnite with the AI API? But I don't think it's at that level yet. It's not going to create GTA or something crazy like that. So there you go. That's exactly how to use Client. I've shown you how to use it for free with Google AI Studio. I've shown you how to get Client for free inside Visual Studio Code. I've shown you how to build apps, tools, websites, etc. And it's all incredibly easy to do. Now, if you want to get free access to all the video notes from today, including tons of prompts I didn't have time to show you, feel free to get that link in the comments description and then just scroll to the SEO tool section and climb 3.1. Inside this free SEO course, you'll get over 212 lessons. This is better than most paid courses that you would pay thousands of dollars for. And you can get access to all of this inside here, plus a community of over 3,100 SEOs. And on top of that, you will get 50 free AI SEO tools to save you thousands of dollars. Feel free to get that link in the comments and description. And if you want to get a one-to-one -one free SEO strategy session, feel free to get that. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors a month and generate thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot on this free link building acceleration session. You'll get a free SEO domination plan to get you more leads, traffic, and sales to your website. You will discover the secrets of SEO link building. Or answer any questions you have one-to-one. -one. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly get ranking competitors in link building and how to 10x your traffic based on what's working for us. Appreciate you watching. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.